Good afternoon and welcome to the regularly scheduled meeting of the Arts and Culture Commission. It is Thursday, August 21st. Can we have roll call, please? Commissioner Zerhovanesian? Here. Lee? Here. Sharikian? Yes. Chairperson Deaver? Here. The agenda for the August 21st meeting was posted on the bulletin board outside City Hall on August 18th, 2014. Next item. Item two, consent items. At 2A, approval of meeting minutes from July 17th, 2014. And are there changes or comments on the minutes or a move, motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Roll call. Dehovanesian? Yes. Lee? Yes. Shirikian? Yes. Chairperson Deaver? Yes. <clears throat> Next item. Item three, introductions and presentations. At 3A, library arts and culture events presented by Chuck Wyke, Community Relations Manager. Good afternoon, <laughs> Chairperson Deaver, uh, Commissioners, City staff. Uh, got a few events to tell you about. They are coming uh, fast and, and hard. September will be a very busy month. As you know, we're about to start a renovation of the Central Library. Unfortunately, that means that we won't have the use of that auditorium for some time, M months uh, is what we're guessing. Uh, so we're going to cut things off the 1st of October. But until then, boy, we're going to use that auditorium. Um, we have a number of films coming to the libraries. Uh, you know, I've given you a handout, but... Uh, Let's see, Apricot uh, is a film, Apricot, Blessed Tree of Armenia, and the other one is Aragil, the White Stork. Uh, that's from uh, director Shirak Kojanian, uh, Kojajian. Uh, they're two short 30-minute uh, documentary films in English. Uh, you see the Star Trek uh, logo and, and folks up there. Uh, they're returning to the library. They're going to screen... A group is going to screen a couple of shows. One is a uh, from the old 60s show. They're going to show uh, Mirror, Mirror. And then some of the actors from the series are going to be there, particularly Walter Koenig, who played Chekhov. He's going to be there also. And then there's a new web series that they're going to talk about. The Brand Associates have a, a, an interesting documentary on um, the arts in Cuba, it's called Unfinished Spaces, and that's on September 11th. Something uh, you'll want to know about Red Riding Hood. There's the Guild Opera Theater is putting on a program September 27th at the Central Library Auditorium for families. That's a Saturday at 2 p.m., and that is uh, that program is provided through the auspices of the Glendale Yeah, you, basically. It's, it's your funding that's making this possible. Similar to the Plaza series, so this is yet another uh, performance. Um, Perception and Reality, the current show at the Brand Galleries, finishes on September 19th, and then we have a new show coming in 10 days later called Impermanence. Nick's lunch net there, and the uh, picture is that's one by Nick Fedak. So that should be a good show, but that the, that's a Saturday, September 27th. They always have a, a big reception, 7 o'clock. And, of course, your plaza performances, we've had great success with these. You know, they started back in June, and every week, I have seen some of the same people. So the staff has seen cadres of the same people, not just you know, random people, but big groups of folks. And they go to every performance, whether it's African dance or rock and roll or jazz. Uh, in this case, let me see, September, we have some classical music. We've got a singer-songwriter. Uh, the gentleman on the left is uh, A. Fine, studio guitarist. Uh, he teaches, his name is um, Verhayen, Carl Verhayen. He teaches a class at USC in the music department called Studio Guitar in the Style of Carl Verhayen. So, he, did, he said he didn't name it, but, but it's named for him. He's pretty good. 
uh, some great performances in September. And again, we thank you. Uh, we do our best to uh, give you credit at the beginning of each program. Uh, yeah, the little free libraries. If you walk outside the front steps of Glendale City Hall, you will see a funny little box. It's green. It's got some nice artwork on it. And uh, that's a little free library. It's one of our newest ones. We've got five of them up at different parks, and we were fortunate just this week to get this one up at City Hall. Um, so there's, there's some of our uh, city staff and, and uh, council and the mayor uh, getting a little picture taken. We'll, we'll do another uh, series of events, but the flyer I gave you literally went out to city employees. So we want them to know that as they're uh, thinking about moving some of their books, uh, you know, maybe to the library or or giving them away, well, you know, maybe they can put them out here in the little free library and uh, other people can enjoy them and they can even take a book. So it's take a book, leave a book. It's the little free libraries. Uh, that's pretty much it. I, I do want to call your attention to tonight at the Brand Library, um, there's a presentation on songs in the key of Los Angeles. That's a book put together by a USC professor um, about the sheet music collection at the Los Angeles Central Library. Uh, it's vast. And so he, he and his students uh, did a whole book and, and they've done programs on songs about Los Angeles. Uh, well written, in the, written up in the LA Times. Uh, the LA Opera came up and did some performances uh, about a month ago at the Brand Library based on some of the Los Angeles uh, songs. So that's tonight at the Brand Library at, at 7 o'clock. And then, of course, Friday night will be uh, the Plaza Series. Uh, if you go, please do uh, you know, stand up or tell our staff that you're there. We'll give you a big round of applause. Uh, tomorrow night will be uh, Jazz Rock. Questions? A couple of questions. Um, what it refers to the Central Library Hall, how much uh, time do we have for renovation? Is it like two months, three months? 18 months. 18, 18 months? 18 months. Wow, that's a year and a half. That's the whole library. Oh, okay. um, but But while, uh, while we, we may not renovate the auditorium during that 18 months, like my office may be moved there because they're renovating my section of the building. Um, or we may store things there. So it's really, it's really going to be off limits. Okay. Have we considered another location for the public to use? We have. Okay. Uh, um, Will you of course, our, our Pacific Park Library has a, has a very large uh, auditorium area. And right next door to the Central Library, we have an agreement with the Parks Department to use the Adult Recreation Center. Okay. But, you know, they program a lot in there. So, so there's only certain... We'll try and put a big event in there. Uh, for instance, the One Book, One Glendale for Kids. That usually comes up in November. That's going to be at that site. So we're working with them. If, if something comes up, uh, we have some other venues. The reason I'm asking is there are many events going on in the Central Library Auditorium, and many people they are used to the location. Therefore, the Adult Center might be a very convenient for those events. I it mean, it just might saying. be. Uh, again, that's a parks facility. Uh, they rent it out, yeah. and they'll let us use it. Okay. Um, it may not work for, for everybody's, you know, for your recitals. Uh, the, the Central Library Auditorium is very busy uh, with rentals, music recitals, performances of, of all kinds, lectures that we don't sponsor. Uh, we have a number of groups. Everybody's very disappointed, but we hope we'll have a better, better auditorium situation for them when we come out the other end. One, one last question. On the flyer, there are the September 11, mm -hmm. the apricot, and the unfinished spaces. They're the same date, the same time? Uh, well, you know, one, the uh, unfinished spaces is going to be at the Brand Library. That's, that's the difference. Oh, okay. So, yeah, okay. so that's okay. part okay. of the Brand Associates Real Art Series. So and they'll the one, be up the there. Central. I don't know. You're going to have to take a pick. Exactly. You can't go okay. to everything. So uh, it's apricots or, or Castro's Cuba. <laughs> One or the other, whatever okay. piques your interest, but there's something for everybody. Okay, thank you. Okay. Other questions? No, just a comment. Um, that um, 
Uh, Mr. Khojayan is a great filmmaker, and he does quite an artsy kind of a job, and it is very cultural also. So, so some people who want to get to know, since Glendale has a lot of Armenians in this community, if they want to get to know the culture, they can see this film, which is a good representation also. It, it's a flavorful representation, which could give an introduction to the culture. Just wanted to make a remark on that. Very and the good. same is with Aragios. There are two symbolic things for the Armenian culture and the pomegranate, but I don't know if he has made one with the pomegranate or not. Sure. <laughs> and yeah, just a little comment on that. Oh, thank you. Hope to see everybody there. Since we're commenting on opportunities, I will say that I have seen Unfinished Spaces, which is that can, the one they'll be showing up with the brand through the brand associates. I saw that during the Los Angeles um, Film Festival when it was out a couple years ago. It's an award-winning film that is about art spaces, the, 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 these wonderful architects that have tried to create an art school in, in Cuba and what's come of it since. And, and they'll be having a, a special guest speaker, I believe, at that event as well. So there's lots of exciting things going on in Glendale proud of our library that puts all of these things together. Library and Art and Culture Department, I have to always go through the whole thing. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Next item. Item four, oral communications. And we have no cards, so we'll move on to the next item, please. Item five, business agenda. At 5A, action item. At 5A1, motion recommending that the city council approve <coughs> the issuance of a call for artists for a second phase of the Beyond the Box Utility Box Mural Program in partnership with Big Draw LA. Good afternoon, Chair Deaver and Commissioners. Um, staff is requesting that the Commission approve a motion recommending to City Council a call for artists for the second phase of Beyond the Box, the mural program on city utility boxes. If approved, this, this phase would be in coordination with the Library Arts and Culture Department and Big Draw LA, which is a regional program with the goal of engaging the community in the arts. The Big Draw movement started in the UK as a means of raising awareness of drawings, power as a tool for learning, observation, creativity, social, and cultural engagement. Ryman Arts, a tuition-free visual arts program, launched the program in Los Angeles in 2010. And last year's month-long celebration was coordinated with or organizations throughout Los Angeles, including the Library Arts and Culture Department. Over 10,000 people participated in, in the Big Draw. The first phase of Glendale's utility box program was initiated on May 17th with, as you know, 26 boxes which were transformed by artists in our downtown area. This phase was in partnership with the Great American Cleanup and, as you know, received many, many accolades for bringing attention to the arts and beautifying the landscape of the downtown area. Building on this success, it is recommended that we expand the program in conjunction with Big Draw LA event, to, which is planned for the month of October. Because of the short timeline, staff recommends that the phase be focused on the Montrose area where the staff report said 10, but there are actually 11 city-owned utility boxes which have been identified as indicated on the map in your packet. Selected artists will be asked to sand, prime, and paint the boxes on Saturday, October 25th and provide the final protective coating the following day. Each box will be led by a designated artist and city staff. And artists will be encouraged to incorporate community members in the mural process in, in all the fun. Applications, if this is approved, will be due with a very short deadline of September 12th. Uh, staff will work with the various associations in Montrose to engage their participation. Some additional programs being considered by our department as part of the big draw are Chalk Walk, Chalk the Walk, which we did last year with um, people of all ages drawing pictures on, on sidewalks. Um, draw stations available at local libraries and actually on telephone poles. We've gotten approval to do that, which should be fun. People come up and just draw whatever they want to draw as they walk by. A mini comic, co uh, comic con featuring self-published comic creators, a flip, flip, look, flip book class, and demonstrations by a variety of artists and animators. While all libraries will be part of the big draw, our focus will be on the Montrose Neighborhood Library and Central Library with a focus coordinated programming the day of the, um, the utility box program. 
The selection committee, as you know, was previously included Commissioners Lee and Sharikian, and it is recommended that they be selected for this phase as well to review all applications and renderings. Due to our very short time frame, it is also recommended that the committee's decisions be considered final on behalf of you as the commission. Upon re commission recommendation, the council approved 30000 for the utility box program. The first phase encumbered $18,750 or 750 per box. Staff is recommending that a portion of the remaining funds or $8,250 if you decide on 11 be applied to this phase. The intention of the program is to target a variety of neighborhoods throughout Glendale, one neighborhood at a time. Remaining funds can be used for this purpose. Commission may also consider at a later date expanding the Beyond the Box program as part of your next work plan so that multiple neighborhoods throughout Glendale can be um, considered and, and painted. And that's, that concludes my report. Thank you. I'd open up for commissioner comments or questions. And this is a fabulous idea, and we need to continue, definitely. Commissioner um, Shurikian. I have a few questions and comments. Um, the first Beyond the Box program was concentrated on a business district, which was Glen, uh, Brand and Central. And I'm looking at the map, which is North Glendale, the Montrose generally area, south of 210 Freeway. I'm pretty familiar with that area, and the way I look at it, it's not business district, almost none, except maybe just around the corner of Honolulu up to between Ocean View and La Crescenta. The rest is almost all a residential area. Um, I'm not judging or I'm not uh, pinpointing any problem, but if that's the focus at this stage, uh, those type of artwork will be seen with a very little uh, audiences. So therefore, I'm worried, yes, we will invest, beautify North Glendale area, but exposure-wise, it's not as much as the brand and central, library, uh, central uh, boulevards. So therefore, is this the only choice we have at this point, or is there another choice we can work more in a business district area like, I'm assuming, the Glendale Boulevard, for example, which is a lot of traffic during the day, and even there's some nightlife, too. Um, I need some just uh, ideas. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, um, and, and those of you on the commission might correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the intention was to start with the business community and then expand the program to, to other neighborhoods that would include residential areas. And so, you know, you know, this is focused on Montrose. We could focus on Glendale Avenue and, and that business district, but we're also, we also have thought about the Adams Square area, Kenneth Village, so where the same, same issues would come up in terms of visibility. Um, okay, second phase of questions, you don't mind? Yes. Um, the locations that I see, if there are more options around uh, the Ocean View Boulevard and Honolulu, instead of all the way to east, which is probably mostly residential, I would probably emphasize and change some of those or concentrating on right on Honolulu Boulevard and Ocean View area and maybe Montrose. Um, and, and there are a lot of businesses and residential. Don't, there are, it's a mixed uh, community over there. So therefore, if you guys can probably narrow it down the radius of the artworks, then it might have a bigger impact on the viewer point of view. Yeah, if I'm understanding correctly. Um, there, we, had, um, we worked with community development and planning in the public works department to identify the utility boxes that are city owned. And there are other utility boxes in the area that unfortunately we don't okay. own. Okay. So this mm. okay. my understanding is these are the only ones in that area that the city actually owns and that we have rights to. Okay. <laughs> because there are other sense. ones and uh, okay. okay. I'm sure sense. you're thinking of something specific, but that's probably not owned by the city. Okay. okay. Uh, contact wise, if I I heard that you were gonna work with local organizations or groups. I know there is a um, uh, an art store right on Honolulu. Twice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So okay. So you guys want to. Okay. All right. That's it. That's very nice. 
Thank you. Okay. Commissioner Hervanassian. Um, first a question. Um, so is between, is it on Honolulu basically? Is it on the Montrose uh, shopping park, the majority of our uh, utility boxes? Because I don't have my glasses. Oh, okay. I think one, two, three, four, five of the 11 are on Honolulu, if I'm reading this map correctly. There's one on Ocean View. Okay. Um, and there, it looks like there are two on the east side of Montrose that are in more of a residential area. One on Ro uh, Ramsdale, is that the name of the, that street? And up near Montrose Avenue above Honolulu. Fact. There's a listing, we can read through the listing, if that, is that helpful? We, that's listed down here, so Honolulu and Verdugo. Yeah. La Crescenta and Honolulu. Honolulu and Glenwood. Honolulu and Romsdale. Honolulu and Whitingwood, Honolulu and Pennsylvania, gotcha. Montrose and Pennsylvania, Montrose and Romsdale, Montrose and Rosemont, Ocean View and Mo Montrose and Florencita, Florencita, sorry, yeah. <laughs> and Altonia. So, well, I can see uh, Commissioner Sherrington's uh, thing, but as you said, we want to spread it out and hopefully later on we'll come back to Glendale every year if we continue doing this then kind of will cover most. Uh, the Honolulu area from the library to Verdugo definitely is one of the most walked areas in Glendale La Crescenta, all the merged kind of uh, area. That's the place that I have not seen as many people in all of Glendale nor in La Crescenta because people have that afternoon kind of a walk and with their pets and with their babies and, and the restaurants and etc. So uh, hopefully we could spread it to um, other areas. Otherwise, it's a fantastic program. We need to start from somewhere, but we are on track, I think. May I add one recommendation? Uh, with, with regard to this train of thought? Yeah, the, regarding, yeah. Um, yes, please. Um, the, there's a library right on the corner of yes. Foothill and La Crescenta. I don't know if we can have a research done and find maybe there is a utility box in that area near the library there's that one. might be a very uh, symbolic if we have a painting there too. There, there is one fairly close to the library and the other thing we want to do is some programming that will attract people from the utility boxes to the library um, <laughs> that are specific to the big draw. Whether it's you know a collection of easels along the boulevard but we'd have to, we'll, we'll work with the Merchants um, Association to kind of figure how to do that best. But that's independent of this. That's the library program. But do we know if there's a utility box that city owns near the, the library area? You mean I've on seen. No, no, not on Honolulu. It's on La Crescenta and Foothill Boulevard. Yes. There's another library up there. No. Oh, oh, oh La, I'm sorry. I'm thought, I'm, I uh, wasn't listening carefully. Yeah, You're yeah. talking about La Crescenta yes. on Foothill. Yes. Yeah, that I'm not sure of. Okay, is that our library too? No. No, that, it's not. That's a county library. That's a county. Okay, yeah. then I'll, okay. Forget that. No, no, okay. <laughs> I hear library and all I think of is ours. <laughs> okay, all right, that's fine. I, uh, well, uh, I wanted to see if we can get our artwork near libraries. That way people will connect somehow. Okay. I mean, actually, that's a good idea, and we'll contact them and, and see if they want to do something in partnership with us. That's a good idea. Even though okay. they're competitors, we work with them. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Lee? I'm ready to make a motion. Um, I, I just, before we do that, I just want, I, I, I think the point is well made that if we, if they're, if they can take a second look and if there happened to be, if anybody missed moving a little bit further east along the, to bring it a little bit more into the, he, the heavier part of the, of the district. But I personally do like the idea of incorporating the sure. residential neighborhoods too, just for those folks that are walking Maybe around. Maybe next phase will go. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, a, a motion? I would make the motion to, uh, Approve the issuance call for artists for a second phase of Beyond the Box. The uh, motion actually needs to be a, a recommendation to the City Council to. Okay. As a recommendation to the City Council. Okay, and I second it. Um, so just a reiteration on what the motion is so that we're clear. So it, it's a motion to approve the call for artists. A motion, sorry, I just messed it up. A motion to, to recommend the approval of the call of artists yes. to the City Council. Is that what I heard? Yes. And we have a second? Yes. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 Um, before we move on, this wasn't part of the motion, but the, 
I don't believe, but there was a recommendation from staff for two for the previous members that sat on the committee, which was Commissioner Sarikian and Commissioner Lee. I just want to invite whether that is of, of interest to the commissioners or if there's any um, interest in anybody else serving. I agree. I'm okay. I'm good. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> they, they were at the beginning. We, we, we like it. <laughs> great idea. What, right. what we want to do is maybe the third person or the fourth person, I don't know how Cindy want to handle it, is you will assign someone or how does it work? To, okay. Uh, no, not commissioners. From other, the staff. From staff. From Okay. Yeah, um, we will assign someone and probably um, elicit somebody from the Montrose community. Sounds good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Great. So I, th I think in keeping with our I've recently approved uh, regulations, then we have so then I we're, we're appointing Commissioner Lee and Commissioner Shrikian to that to that panel, and um, and we'll leave it to you all to work out the timing on that and and. As, as part of this whole motion, we understand that the that the panel will be making the final decision with regard to that selection because we don't have the time necessarily to bring it back to the commission. Okay. Next item. Item six, commission staff comments. Comments? Input? No? no? Comments? Commissioner Lee? I'm good. I, I couldn't tell. Um, comments from staff? I will, uh, wow, we are a quick bunch today. Um, I just, I want to note that um, we had gotten some mailings from some exhibits that are up from the McCurshian uh, Gallery, Art Gallery. Has a, it looks like they've got a, an event going on right now with um, Arita Thread Mosaic is on board. And there's also a couple call for artists that are going out right now, which is the You Are Here, which is one of our programs for the contemporary art installations. So go to artintheashes.org to find out more information on that. And also the city's putting out that. And then also Glendale Arts Association has recently put out a call for their fall salon. And you can go to glendaleartsassociation.org, I believe is their site. But they're also promoting that heavily and inviting artists to submit for that for their fall salon. It's open to not just the members. So with that, um, next item, please. Item seven, written communications. And we have none. Next item, please, which is, I always get ahead of myself, and we are adjourned. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.